I'm Katrin Willumsen and I'm here to talk about how to engage more young women into a career inside IT security and cybersecurity. Uh, I think I work in a heavy male dominated uh, area. I can uh, make an example from my own work. I currently have a management position where I work with cybersecurity and on the way to the CEO, above me there is five uh, management level senior to my position and they're all headed by men. To engage more women into a career in technology, IT and cybersecurity is something that is on my mind and on my heart. I often argue with friends and family what we can do to increase uh, young women's interest in the technical domain. To work in IT, I think you need to be able to multitask and do a lot of logical thinking, which I think most women are absolutely perfect to do and very talented in doing. Uh, therefore, I'm also surprised to see in my own field that not so many women decide to have a career in cybersecurity. I have seen that the statistics says that globally there should be 25% of the workforce in cybersecurity should be women. Uh, I haven't met so many of these women yet in my career. And when I got the chance to talk at the New Age Cybersecurity Conference in November, I asked the digital audience to vote in if they had women in the cybersecurity teams or in the management position of cybersecurity. And the results showed that only 2% said they had women in their team, showing there is a gap uh, in the market for adding more women into a career in cybersecurity. Also looking at the numbers for education of how many women that will pursue uh, education in the technical domain, we can see a steady small increase, but it's not enough if we want to have a 50-50 gender um, based in the technical domain. So where are they and why can we not get the young women to engage in a career in cybersecurity? I started Googling uh, for finding out more about this. And actually what I found is that we need to step in and see how are we actually communicating and visualization of cybersecurity. If you Google cybersecurity straight up, then you will see a lot of results with this kind of image. Uh, it's an image that has a lock and it's an image that often is in laser white, blue, mystical colors or green colors can also be. It's a lot of articles where all the visualization it with this kind of image. This goes again on video, on online content and also printed content. If we then go a step deeper and say, what is it we hear that the young ones want to talk about? it's often hacking, ethnical hacking. When I talk to graduates that want to have a career in cybersecurity and I ask why, why do we want to work in cybersecurity, they often say I want to do pen testing, I don't want to do vulnerability assessments. So what I did was, okay, what happens if we Google the term hacker, an ethnical hacker, this is what turns up. All the articles and all the pictures around is a character on identification character with a black hoodie surrounded maybe in a basement, a black environment uh, and with some kind of scripted coding uh, in the back. Uh, actually this is a little love uh, hate relationship I have to this character because on the one hand I think I can assume that if I took one of these pictures, went to a street and asked random people who this is, I think we will have almost 100% success rate say this is a hacker. It's a character that has been raised up almost like a holification and mystification around that this is how a hacker look like. If 
we then take this into a more female perspective and say what happens when we engage young women in the hacker field? What is a girl hacker? A girl hacker is of course also a black hoodie in a black room with a laptop in a basement, but we of course need to identify some kind of uh, female attributes to her, so it's a character with long hair and sunglasses. So this is a girl hacker. I don't know if you know any one of these, but um, I know women working in cybersecurity, I know women working in software development, I know women working in ethnical hacking, and they don't look like this. Uh, so it's, it's not the actual picture of how the girl hackers out there look like. So what is on the search? The search, this is the top four results on the girl hacker on Google. And two of them are teen, teen based. One of them is actually about how beautiful the women hackers are. It's a very important skill is how your hair looks like when you're trying to, to hack into a bank. And uh, of course, then the top one is very uh, relevant. That is about how skilled are they? Uh, so this is maybe uh, time for improvement <laughs> is what kind of articles are we putting out when we are talking about the girls hacker. I will have two examples now about how I think the world look like. This is of course the superstars of the cybersecurity world. Um, and as you can see, they are nothing like a black hoodie. They are colorful, they are flowerish, they are uh, communicative, they are alive, they are smiley, they use makeup, they take care of their nails. You know them probably, Parisa, because she's general manager of the Chrome browser and she's heading more than 500 talented engineers and software developers to take care of the Chrome browser. And then Amanda, better known as the white hat hacker, and she has, uh, of course, a reputation to be in love with malware and made quite some awesome work on malware. You can follow her under the Cyberpanda33 on Instagram if you like to follow her. So this is the new generation of cybersecurity talent, and this is how they look. Just so you know that women in cybersecurity is not based in a basement with a black hoodie. If you want to see more about women's work in cyber, uh, there is Women Know Cyber. It's a brand new work that came out last year. It's a book where you follow 100, 100 very um, uh, talented women in cybersecurity. Uh, you hear their stories. You can also see the documentary on the YouTube, both the book and the YouTube video is for free uh, and uh, it's a aim for boosting the stories of the women working in the cybersecurity uh, domain. Uh, furthermore, Security Magazine just came out with a new award and nomination for women in the cybersecurity domain. This has the aim to increase the diversity for having a broader talent mass in the cybersecurity. Uh, this is all I want to share for you for now. Remember, next time you communicate cybersecurity for your new generation, don't put on the hoodie, put some colorful things on. So take care and thank you.